first example of rich and poor that I ever saw in my life was in uh, the United Arab Emirates. Um, this is, uh, and they got money there. And let's talk a little bit about rich and then we'll talk about poor. This is uh, Ski Dubai, which is relatively famous. This is in the 105 degree desert. They have a ski slope that they built. It's 105 outside, 35 inside. Um, they, they have money to just throw around that stuff. And so they have this huge commerce. They've got Pizza Hut and Applebee's and the great Islamic Association of Trader Vicks. And Krispy Kreme wishes you the Ramadan dozen. Um, Bud Ruckers has Happy Ramadan. Um, they, they have big trade. There's even a uh, Mecca Visa card. Uh, uh, so Dubai is this big, you know, uh, economic power. But the degree of wealth is, is not really fully visible until you, you get invited in. This is uh, the Emirates Palace in Abu Dhabi. This is the most expensive hotel ever built. This is a $3 billion hotel. And to give you a sense of how big this place actually is, that's not the hotel I'm showing you. That's the entrance gate. What? I'm not kidding, honest to God, that is actually just the triumphalist entrance gate. Um, I'm standing on the steps of the hotel overlooking the fountains with the gate in the distance. The thing is so physically used that in terms of square footage of office space, it's 50% larger than the Pentagon. Uh, it is so large that the best view of it, if you back up and try to take a picture, you're too far away to get all of it by the, you, you can't get a picture of the thing. The best way to see it is with Google Maps from space. Um, I, I'm not kidding, the, the triumphalist, I don't know if you can see my cursor here. Um, the, uh, they've got about a kilometer of private beach. They've got this, uh, uh, that's the triumphalist entrance gate at the lower right. And this area here is sort of just the main lobby. And then they, they, the area extends down and around. And I took that photograph from standing here around the, uh, uh, near the front steps here. This is a really expensive place. Now, to give you a sense of how much wealth is flying around in this country, um, I asked uh, the PR guy there, a guy named Mohammed. Uh, we sat in a little conference room. And I asked him, there's a lot of gold visible. And he says to me, well, you know, we have a rule here. If it's gold, it's gold. Really? To give you a sense, and this comes directly from the hotel's own PR people, and you know they're not—they're they're really nice people. I mean, I'm not criticizing them in any way. Have your nice hotel, go. Uh, but they—they uh, uh, they go through five kilos, eleven pounds of fresh gold every year, not just in maintaining this. No, 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 just in pastry decorations, just in little gold shavings that they put down on the chocolates. And of course, since gold is ingestible, that's one hundred fifty thousand dollars a year that they're literally putting in the toilet. 